All right, so when you're looking for carrots, you probably want to see big, beautiful greens on top, but then usually people just toss those greens when they get home, which is a total shame because they're really delicious and there's lots of ways that we can use them. So today I'm going to talk all about using carrot tops. super versatile. You can use them in pestos or other green sauces. My favorite thing to make is gremolata. And you're probably wondering what the heck is a gremolata. Uh, it's a traditional Italian condiment made from fresh parsley, minced garlic, and lemon zest. But instead of parsley, we're going to use carrot tops. So first we need to remove the tops from these carrots. Because remember they pull out moisture from the root and no one wants a limp carrot. Alright, we'll set those aside for something else. And then from here, there is quite a long stem, so I will kind of pull off more of the leafy bits. But if you get some stem in there, it's totally fine. All right, so that looks great. So now we're gonna take our knife and I'm gonna use what I call the pendulum chop, where the tip of my knife is gonna stay at the top of the board and the back of the knife is gonna go back and forth like a pendulum. And my opposite hand is right here, so that it's out of the way and there's no harm of cutting my fingers. So just back and forth. We want to chop it pretty fine. If it spreads out, just use your blade to kind of bring it all back together. Okay, so our carrot tops are nicely chopped, so now we're going to go ahead and add our minced garlic. So my trick for mincing garlic is using a microplane. So all you do is just take your garlic clove with the peel off, and just be very careful, because it is quite sharp, but just go back and forth on the microplane directly over the carrot tops. Just give it a little tap. And I usually do about two cloves per bunch of carrot tops. And now we're gonna move in with some lemon zest. Anytime you're using the zest of citrus, you wanna make sure that the fruit is organic because if it's been sprayed with chemicals or pesticides, then all that is gonna get in your zest. So this is organic, no worries. Give it a little tap, might do a little bit more, and do another little lemon. Depending on the size of your lemons, I'd say one or two. If you really love lemon zest, do more. This is a very loose recipe, it's more of just a tip. Okay. So from this point, you're gonna take your knife again and you're just gonna chop it all together until it's one consistent paste. So good. The aromatics coming from the lemon zest and the carrot tops and the garlic are insane. Alright, looks beautiful, it smells beautiful, we are done. It is really that easy. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my bowl. This gremolata is going to be fabulous on top of grilled meats or seafood or roasted veggies. And it's just really cool that we use carrot tops, something that usually gets thrown away to make this really amazing dish. So use those carrot tops, impress your dinner guests, and reduce food waste all in one.